Thank you for choosing the NewTek Satellite Terminal. This video gives an animated overview on how to install your satellite terminal. The complete procedure is available in the Point and Play Setup Manual. Let's have a look at a typical terminal installation. An antenna and ILNB are installed outdoors and pointed towards a satellite. They're connected via a twin coax cable to a satellite modem located indoors. The modem is further connected to a computer or network device with an Ethernet cable. The first step in the installation process is the mechanical assembly of the terminal, which starts with setting the correct elevation angle on the masthead. Use the antenna pointing information booklet to look up the elevation angle that applies to the city closest to your location. In the example, this value is 40 degrees. To continue, mount the masthead to the antenna pole. Mount the feed arm onto the masthead. Mount the antenna dish onto the masthead. And mount the ILNB into the feed clamp. The exact position is not yet important, as the correct polarization angle is set later on. Finally, mount the feed clamp onto the feed arm. Now, adjust the ILNB polarization angle. Set the ILNB to the angle you can find in the antenna pointing information booklet. Look up the feed scale value that applies to the city closest to your location. Fix the two bolts once the correct angle has been set. The final assembly step is to connect all the equipment, starting with the grounding wire. Connect this wire to the stud on the ILNB and to the grounding screw on the masthead. The masthead needs to be grounded according to local regulations. Then connect the twin coax cable to the ILNB. Use the pre-mounted waterproof outdoor connectors and put the transmit and receive connectors in the corresponding jacks on the ILNB. Make sure that the polarization angle of the ILNB is safeguarded. Connect the other side of the cable to the transmit and receive jacks on the modem. To finish the terminal assembly, connect the power supply to the modem and plug in a network cable between the modem and your computer. To continue the installation process, start an internet browser on your computer and enter 192.168.1.1 in the address bar to access the web user interface of the modem. In the antenna pointing information booklet, look again for the city closest to your actual location and select the corresponding beam ID. Confirm your selection to complete installation step 1. If your terminal has been pre-configured with only one beam, this step is completed automatically. Click Start Pointing to begin the pointing procedure. If two pointing carriers have been pre-configured, keep the pre-selected carrier. Disconnect the transmit cable from the ILNB and reconnect it to the point and play tool. Ensure that the fine adjust bolt is in the middle position. Set the antenna to the azimuth angle that applies to the city closest to your actual location. This value can be found in the antenna pointing information booklet. Now slowly move the antenna horizontally until the point and play tool produces the highest possible continuous pitch tone.
secure the position of the antenna in the middle of this highest tone range. Optimize the elevation and azimuth settings by rotating the corresponding fine adjust bolts until the point and play tool produces the highest continuous pitch tone. Check on the web user interface if your antenna is pointed optimally. If not, repeat the previous steps. To proceed, click Pointing Completed. Disconnect the point and play tool and reconnect the transmit cable to the ILNB. This completes the pointing procedure. The modem checks for software updates. If a newer software version is available, download starts automatically. You can verify the download progress on the web user interface. If validation of your terminal installation is activated by your service provider, you must complete the following additional steps. First of all, accept the disclaimer to proceed. Secondly, the system must know your location. There are two options. Option 1 allows you to enter your address by specifying your country, city and street. An accuracy of 5 kilometers or 3 miles is recommended. Alternatively, you can also enter latitude and longitude values using option 2. Click Enter to proceed. A list of one or more addresses based on your input is displayed. Select your address from the list to view your location on a map. The web user interface now shows a geographical map that visualizes the region in which your terminal is located. Note that a map is not displayed if you enter your location using option 2. Click Confirm to proceed and start the actual validation. The validation starts by verifying if your location is within the boundaries of the previously selected beam. Secondly, your antenna installation is verified by measuring the signal level. The validation results are now displayed. If both validation steps are successful, click Finish to end the installation process. Or consult the Point and Play Setup Manual in case validation has failed you are redirected to the modem status page. The terminal is ready for operation and all LED indicators are green. You can now surf the internet. Note that online registration may be required by your service provider. Thank you and enjoy using your satellite terminal.